I do have a Google Play gift card for you. The first one to redeem this is all you. So the code is... Hey, what's up guys? Joe here. We're going to do some farming today. We got a uh, classic barge cooked up. Still probably one of the best strategies for use across all town hall levels from, you know, le town hall level three all the way up to town hall 11, depending on where you are and what you're after. Um, you, you know, you really have to start out kind of small and then work your way up. You can't just jump into the big time strategies and expect to be successful right away. Obviously, you can see my storages are pretty much filled up. And honestly, you're not gonna win every single one of them. You're gonna lose some, you're gonna win some. And if you're looking to do trophies, this is definitely not for you. But if you're looking to fill up them storages and keep progressing, uh, this is definitely a way to do it. I mean, I'm cycling through and we have 200,000, uh, 200, 400,000, you know, a couple 100,000s, not being really picky too much. And the strategy itself is very simple. Um, I'm, you know, you don't even need heroes for it. We're looking for these unicorns, uh, the bases that are abandoned, dead, haven't been hit in a while, and uh, obviously clearly wide open. And you don't, there's no real sh method to doing it. Uh, you don't need, you know, spells for it. If you're trying to just go after golden elixir only, uh, dark elixir will kind of trickle in some here and there, but for the most part, uh, golden elixir is basically the priority, and we're just kind of coming in on each side. Um, all the way around and getting barbs down and archers. Now this can easily be done with goblins, but goblins aren't going to take out the other structures to hopefully possibly get that one star that you uh, desire in order to stay up in the league that you're at. Uh, so right now I've managed to stay up in uh, Crystal 2 and there's a lot, a lot of golden elixir for, uh, you know, up, up for grabs. Um, I'm not attacking everything. I'm going, I'm being very selective, very picky in my choices. I'm not going into uh, the base. I'm staying out of the base. I'm not using any spells. And I kind of cheated here and brought an archer queen. Uh, but my art, my barbarian king is currently down under upgrade. So we're on the Sarge training account. The Sarge training account is actually a town hall 10 that's been rushed. So it's more of a 9.5 uh, the defense. So the upgrade order here on this account is more focused on the heroes now if you actually look at my um offensive troops my barbarian king or my barbs my archers my giants my gobs they're all still level six so when it comes to attacking other town hall tens it's near impossible to actually get through the base because my giants get melted obviously my wall breakers are still level five and then as we trickle through uh, the free spell is still only a level one that's available at Town Hall 9. So I don't have a lot of offenses to choose from to do any of the fancy strategies that you'll see here on YouTube uh, telling you to, to use, you know, Valkyries and, and, and um, you know, Queen Walking and all that stuff. This does not need heroes at all. So I got one hero down and I would love to get this Queen down here in the next couple of days. And basically what I'm doing is, is Elixir is for upgrading those offensive troops in the laboratory. And then the gold is for the walls. Now, everybody hates doing walls. I don't like doing walls. However, if you intend to war, um, you do not want to increase your defenses. So what I mean by that is um, what you want to do is you want to... Stop boot, you know, beefing up your defenses like this base here. He has max level defenses, but his heroes are really low, and I guarantee his troops was really low when he quit the game. Uh, if you just dump the gold into walls and worry about upgrading the offense first, then you can start transitioning into easier wars. Well, not necessarily easier wars, but your opponents will be more equal to you and not towering above you in the hero levels. So that normally tends to be the case in Town Hall 9, uh, Town Hall 10, is that you work on your defenses so much that you forget to do your heroes or you just don't want to wait on the time to cook your hero upgrades and it, eventually you start coming into wars and you got guys that have level 40 kings and queens at town hall 10 and level 30 kings and queens at town hall 9 uh, but cool yeah your defense is super strong uh, but you can't really attack in a war so um, this I've only done this in the last couple of hours I, I had near empty storages this morning and I just started doing Barch again just for fun to see how it would play out uh, due to the fact that Queen Walking is extremely difficult with a level 20 Queen. I can do it, but it's very painful. Um, and then also when it comes to your Giants, the Giants being level 6 attacking uh, Town Hall 10s, they melt. And it just gets very frustrating over time. So if you slow down on the defensive upgrades 
and you worry about the offense and your heroes, you should have no issues whatsoever in you know getting those troops up. If you look at these guys, yeah, they're hitting me for big you know big sums, but it's not as much as what I've pulled in the last hour. So if we look at the timestamps here, uh, we got 19 minutes ago, 25 minutes ago, 31 minutes ago, all the way down. Uh, to an hour ago. So it's a 15 minute cook time on the army unless you are boosting the barracks and Obviously, I had a break here. I had to go to the store. So um, You know, you can take breaks and come back to it and they're ready to go The best part about it is is that you got one army cooked and you can cook up a second army for when you get done with that raid so you can do two two raids back to back and uh, Continue through so we're gonna go ahead and try to find one of them unicorns and top off I think I pretty much covered a lot of the important pieces of why, uh, you know, you want to work on your offense opposed to defenses right away. You want to, if you're working on defenses right now, slow down and stop doing them for a while until you get those hero levels up to level 20 or level 30, level 40, depending on what town hall level you are. And you can bounce back and forth between, you know, Barch and um, you know the gob knife the gob knife is a really good one for stealing dark elixir that's on the insides of the base There are plenty of videos of that one up and I can link some of those in the description below or at the end of this video But anyways, yes, yeah, so we have One right here that I'm hitting right now very easy one uh, very rare to find them this easy Sometimes you'll find some that are in the base itself and you can't really get all of it So you, you know you gotta try to get as much of it as you possibly can at this point, I'm going to try to just win the raid, and there's a lot of structures up here. And see, I'm not bringing any wall breakers, so I mean, you could add some wall breakers if that's your, you know, if that's what you want to do. Uh, but they're not really necessary because the barbarians are going to crack through. And I'm not really concerned with winning the raid, to be honest with you. You can afford to lose a couple of trophies and still manage to find bases like this. Uh, today has been a really good day for these types of bases, and we did end up actually getting a star. So uh, again. You know, let's go ahead and just get rid of these barbs. We don't necessarily need to do that. You can keep them and just move on to the next raid. Uh, but I like to clean out my camps with how cheap it is. I just pulled off a 360 and 393. And I'm a Town Hall 10 on this account. So it's very challenging still. We're maxed out right now on our storages. But we're going to make sure that we got one cooked up real quick. We got another one cooked up. And we have one that we're going to go ahead and start prepping for the next phase. So when I dump all my gold and elixir, we can do it again. So... Uh, for you guys that have been viewing for a really long time, I do have a Google Play gift card for you. The first one to redeem this is all you. So the code is 83-A-U-O-L-8-M-D-Q-5-Q-8-Y-M-T-K-F-J-R. Good luck to the first Google Play uh, owner who rede redeems that one and stay tuned for the follow-on code for the next winner. So anyways, barching, still one of the best strategies that's available. Uh, you guys, if you're doing other things and you're just really wanting to work on them offenses and get things up, so we're going to go ahead and I really think that uh, Jai Barch, Jai Barch is another really good one if you have the giant levels to do it. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my giants to level 7. I really need to get my giants up that way I can continue to move into Jai Barch and do harder bases and start working on the dark, the dark elixirs. Uh, with the gold, I'm just going to go ahead and come over here and I'm just going to top these off. So we've had a lot of progression. If you've been following the Sarge Train account series, which I've only done three videos so far, um, the Jai Barch, or the, goodness, Jai Barch, wow. <laughs> Anyways, so anybody that's been following the Sarge Train thing, uh, this account here was rushed from Town Hall 9 to Town Hall 10 uh, initially for the bowlers. That was the intent initially. Uh, so we have finished that one side. But anyways, uh, it was very difficult. Once I got the bowlers, it was still kind of useless. Uh, in war with the level of heroes, I can't do a lot of the fancy strategies. So when I play this account, I can sympathize with a lot of players like you. And... Um, Let's go ahead and try to find one more raid or one or two more raids and see how it goes. And then we'll get that other code out for you guys. Uh, I do have an iTunes gift card for anybody that is uh, an iTunes owner or, uh, or an Apple owner. But anyways, so I'm not attacking bases like this. I'm just, you know, bypassing them. There's absolutely no reason to go after this stuff if you don't have the troops to do it. I mean, it, 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 even with SARS trained bowlers, bowlers use a crap ton 
of Dark Elixir, so it's very pointless to do that. You're just wasting. Um, when you're looking at the bases, obviously we're checking the gold mines and the, the drills. The drill looks like it's full, but it's really not. And then also, obviously, the box on the side, this little... Um, this little tiny box on the ne next to the mine is what houses the gold, and that's how you can tell if you're not, you know, most people know this, but if you're a newer player to the game and you're like me when I first started, I had no clue where, you know, where to look. Uh, so as I, you know, scroll through these bases, that's exactly what I'm looking for, is I'm checking those little boxes next to the gold mines and seeing if they're topped off. And then also... Um, looking at the uh, gold storages now obviously the level of mines come into play as well in this case here it's just not enough to even matter so I'm just gonna go ahead and bypass that and then as we continue through we might not find another unicorn as easily as uh, the the previous one in this case here you know we might just say um, eh, we'll come back later give it some time sometimes sometimes it depends on the time of the day it depends on where you're at I've seen some spreadsheets and stuff like that online that show like time codes on when the best farming times are i don't necessarily know how true it is but anyways yeah we have actually found another one and so before i go ahead and attack it you see how the little box has the gold in it and then obviously the you can see the line where the elixir is so it's not fully topped off but there's 281 available uh 281,000 gold available on the base obviously we have this one that's inside with some defenses so it's going to be a little bit more challenging to get. We're going to go ahead and drop a couple of barbs up there and take get some percentage on those two huts, which is only like 1%, whoop you do. But anyways, we're going to just spread out our troops, dropping them barbs to kind of tank for the archers. you got the range for the archers. Um, this uh, bomb tower is going to give us a little problems. He, you know, using his splash damage, he's going to put in some work. And then we also got the archers kind of working on this one while the... the um, Cannons are distracted. Hopefully we can get that in. Anyway, so we're going to continue just dropping all the way around the base. And there is no real method of how to do this. This is completely up to you guys. Um, whether you want to like use two finger sweeps or three finger drops or you know whatever else you've seen on the internet or from your clan mates, uh, for that matter. Uh, so far we have gotten majority and we're out of troops. So <clears throat> a little bit too much of a spread on some of those troops and we will actually lose this one. No big deal though. I'm not really tripping about tr uh, trophies. Like I said earlier in the video, if you are trying to go after trophies, this is definitely not the strategy for you. So, uh, one more go round. We're going to take a look at one more attack raid. Uh, we just did that one a minute ago. We did have one large one earlier. Yeah, I've already bypassed it. But anyways, there are some out there with 100,000, 400,000, I mean 400,000 or more of gold and elixir. But anyways, for you iTunes owners, um, the code here for this card right here is XDFWNDHK6C6T7W6Q. The first one to redeem that gets $10 off of this gift card. And good luck to you guys. And thanks for subscribing. Thanks for hanging out with me. And this, so far, I mean, the journey with this YouTube thing has been a blast. You guys are awesome. And I continue to progress and get better with the uh, YouTubing and testing new strategies and just upgrading. And yeah, overall, it's just a blast. Paradox is a great time. We have fun over in that clan. And um, yeah. So anyways, back to the video, 440,000 uh, gold, 438,000 elixir, and this is basically how we maxed out our storages today in a matter of a couple of hours. So drop some comments below. If you guys won those gift cards, please drop a comment below and let everybody else know that you won so we can congratulate you. And thanks for watching.